Mr. Speaker, I've also received multiple messages last night from co-workers of mine, and the President of the Nurses' Union stated that they have not actually received a counteroffer from the government, as stated in question period yesterday and again this morning. This back and forth of who created this mess, it didn't only happen by this government in the last couple of years, it's been happening for many years. The nurses are growing very frustrated, and as you can imagine, the morale is very low and dropping rapidly while we sit playing the blame game. <coughs> nurses are crying for help, Mr. Speaker. They're pleading with government to give them the recognition and the help that they deserve and they need. And hearing co-workers that are dropping out of the system and other profession for so many years is just heartbreaking. Mr. Speaker, this needs to be settled. Nobody wants a strike. And we should be working together to make sure that this is done and it's the primary thing that's done. Can the Premier please tell us which one is it? And what is the plan moving forward to get this settled before they need to go for a strike? The Minister of Finance and Treasury Board. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member from Aramashi for the question. Um, uh, if we said there was a counter proposal, then we we're, we were wrong. No, what we've got done, <coughs> oh, she's disappeared. Uh, what we've done, Mr. Speaker, is, uh, is we've given two proposals. Two proposals that have been uh, taken by the, the, the leadership to the union, and they have ultimately been rejected. If we're looking for a counter proposal, it would not be up from us, it would be from them at this time. Um, the strike votes uh, will be happening late this week, and we will continue to work with the, uh, with the union. We have meetings scheduled, and absolutely, we want to get it uh, settled. We absolutely want the nurses to know that they are so valued and so important to all of New Brunswick. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, it is, uh, it's, it's without, uh, they are without blame in, in anything, and they have worked crazy, crazy amounts for COVID and before that. We absolutely want to, uh, want to do what's right for the nurses.